Good morning and welcome to another Fun Friday video from 303 Tech. I'm Clint Larson. Today I'd like to talk a little bit about MFA, multi-factor authentication, and how that kind of works. There's multiple different ways that um, you can engage with multi-factor authentication. And so what that means is just an alternate way to verify you are who you are. Now, some ways are that the program, like if you're logging into email or whatever, can text you. That's one way. They can also call you. You pick up the phone, you say, yep, go ahead and authenticate it. Another way is, you know, authenticator apps on your phones. And it simply just generates a code, um, six digits, nine digits, whatever. You type in that code, say, there it is, and it, it authenticates you. Um, my app on my phone, I use Microsoft Authenticator, and mine is biometrically locked. So, in other words, I have to use my fingerprint to open it up, and then I can get my codes. Um, so you have to be aware of what methodologies you're using and what, why you're using them because a lot of people will get people, bad actors, get a hold of somebody's username and password and then there's, oh, it's authentication. So they will call or have the system call them until they actually approve it. Well, that ought to give you a clue that if you're getting calls to approve a login, um, the system isn't broken somebody's trying to get in and that should be a heads up warning to whoever that is that no I'm not gonna let them in I gotta go change my password because somebody's got it um, don't click approve unless you're sitting in front of the computer that you're trying to approve um, texting is the same way sometimes you can respond to text to say yep approve the sign in so be very careful when you get those messages that it's you that is actually logging in because if not then somebody's got your username and password and they're trying to hack your account so don't approve it so I think it's pretty simple but anyway there's a lot of people that are uh, just hitting the button to go ahead and approve because they're tired of listening to the calls come in it's easy turn off your phone silence your phone if you're in the middle of a meeting whatever but go change your username and password anyway um, Hope that helps you guys. Hope you helps you understand a little bit more about multi-factor and the different methods that uh, are allowed to authenticate that. If you have any questions, please let us know at 303 Tech. We like to keep you simply connected. Thank you.